Like this. Yes? So one more time, let's do it all together, everyone. Feet together. Right foot up in the air. Hold it. <laughs> Step. Lift your hand to your visor and open. Beautiful. All right. I think we're just about ready. Who remembers the first thing we're going to do for the king and queen? We're going to... Curtsy. Exactly. And then we're going to... Curtsy. <laughs> right. All right. I think we're just about ready, but we should have a little dress rehearsal first. So, guards. Delmer, if you could come here. And if you could come down here, please. Yes. Perfect. Send down... Yes. Exactly right. Now, I shall pretend to be the king of Denmark, and you all are going to bow and cheer for me. I don't think so, Yorick. <laughs> <laughs> but my lord, can't be we go on. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, may I present the King and Queen of Denmark and Norway, the Duke and Duchess of Schleswig-Holstein. Bow to the King and Queen, or curtsy, <laughs> and cheer! <laughs> Very good, Yorick. Yes, very well trained, Yorick. Absolutely fierce looking girl. I agree, my lord. I'm scared. <laughs> Though the memory of our dear brother Hamlet's death is fresh and green, and it is fitting that we, and indeed our subjects, observe a period of mourning, it cannot be denied that life goes on. And we must think about what is best for the country in this time of crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gertrude, you have taken me as your husband, and I humbly join my strengths to your wisdom, and I thank you with all my heart. Hooray! Hooray! Now, let's get on with this business of running the country, eh, Valenius? Indeed, my liege. The first thought... <laughs> the first order of business affects me personally, my son, Laertes. Bow to his majesty. Mm. He requests your permission to continue his studies in Paris. Well, has he your permission, Polonius? He has my grudge consent to go, yes, my lady. Well, I will not stand in his way. Laertes, you may return to Paris. Thank you, your majesty. I humbly thank your majesty. Yes. Ah, at last, my nephew Hamlet. Oh, oh, and uh, now, of course, my son. More than an uncle now, yet less than kind. Your mood is dark. Grief still clouds your mind. Not so, my lord. Mm -hmm. I am too much in the sun. Son. It is sweet and admirable of you to be so affected by your father's death. But, as well you know, son, your father lost his father, and that father lost, lost his. <laughs> and so it is, my dear, for all eternity. And it is good and proper to grieve for a time, but to continue with this melancholic kind of depression, well, if that's just not healthy, and it isn't manly. <laughs> Look on me as your father, for you are, and this is no secret, my one true heir and the future king of Denmark. Hooray! As for your plans to return to Wittenberg to continue your studies, that goes against our plans for your future, dear. Yes, you are to remain here by your mother's side to cheer and comfort her. I shall in all things obey you, mother. <laughs> well, that is a good and loving answer. Gertrude, come, let us greet our people. Guards, you are dismissed. Make way for their majesties. <laughs> Greetings.